One of my favorite things to do when I'm out here on the trails is to use the an app called Seek uh, to help me identify what it is that I'm looking at. So for example, I'll show you this uh, mushroom that I, uh, I saw and I want to know what it was called. And so I use my Seek app and it told me uh, almost instantaneously. So I saw this on a log on a fallen tree and I scanned it and really quickly it told me that it was a dryad saddle. That's the name of it. So, uh, yeah, and you can see there's, looks like that's another uh, dryad saddle there. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know, it looks like it almost might be dying or dead. Um, but anyway, it's kind of neat that you can do that very quickly if you don't know what it is that you're looking at. Here's another example in the red of something I wanted to identify. So I used seek. Now, Sometimes for things this small, it takes a minute for it to actually find it. Um, you have to use a few different angles, but I was able to find out that it was a bittersweet nightshade. Um, and then you can log all your findings. And then you could also see if people in the area have seen these or something similar that you might want to look out for. So keeps your, uh, your walks interesting by seeing what is out there. Now, something that Seek can't identify, but is cool nevertheless, are birds' nests. So this one um, has been left over from the spring and summer. And it's, uh, it's basically at a height where I could reach the branch and bring it down closer to my eyes so I could just take a look inside of it without having to damage it or anything, um, or the tree. But yeah, there's... Uh, Lots of stuff like that that you can see along the river and just take a second to inspect it safely to try not to disturb it too much.